Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Marco and this is Tunes I Dig. And today, today's video is going to be uh, somewhat of an unfortunate video, I suppose. Um, somewhat of an apologetic video. So, if you've been watching my channel, you know that uh, I've been planning for a new series. Initially, it was supposed to be in sometime in June and then I got pushed back and then I thought, well, I would use July 1st as a launch pad for that, go out onto the streets of Toronto, film, give some tickets away and I, and then I, as a gift for Canada Day, and then I would use that as to, you know, launch the new series. It seemed perfect. Of course, you know, in, in late May or early June, we heard of the horrific news uh, where um, you know, we discovered the, the bodies of indigenous children that were that were murdered and buried at residential schools in BC. And now we've seen them all, uh, we've seen more reports come out all over the country. And then of course, what happened in June was just a massive outpouring of support and love and for our indigenous brothers and sisters. And of course, demand for reparations. And, you know, there was strong, strong, strong tones of, you know, what had happened all throughout the Juno Awards in, in June here in, in Canada. And of course, toward the end of June, there was the Cancel Canada Day you know, movement, the hashtag, what have you. And so that all happened while I was preparing to you know, potentially film the first video. And then what happened was, you know, I thought to myself, naturally, well, I can't go out and film the video on Canada Day anymore because Canada Day can't be about gifting and, and uh, being jovial, I would be dressed in a, an elaborate costume and giving concert tickets away and playing music out loud on a speaker. It would, it's not what it, what it was supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about, you know, introspectiveness of, of what it has happened and spreading, spreading the word and, and unifying, you know, the country in what, you know, unfortunately has happened. So that's, so then what I had planned was not to go out on Canada Day. I'll do it another day. But then I thought, that also kind of seems a little bit of a cop out because we could use that day now to go out and maybe, you know, instead of giving the concert tickets away the way I was going to in a very jovial fashion, I can still talk to people on the street, you know, get in, you know, get down onto the streets, talk to people, see how they feel, question them. And then, you know, to people that I find that are supporting the movement and just have a good vibe. I was gonna, you know, gift them with concert tickets. And the concert tickets I was gonna gift them was for Crownlands, a, a band from Oshawa, Ontario in the greater Toronto area. And Crownlands, it's a two-piece band and one of the members of Crownlands is indigenous and they are, of course, are, are very instrumental in this, in the, in this movement. Of, of spreading awareness for our indigenous community. And they were, of course, instrumental in the Cancel Canada Day. They were very, very supportive. And so I thought it would be, you know, it, it would be this perfect exchange of speaking to people on the street, raising awareness, and, and gifting on Canada Day, but gifting in a way where we're still keeping people in the realm. Like it wasn't just a random band. You know, Crownlands has kind of made it, you know, one of their, you know, one of their missions. They're very, very socially conscious. And so, you know, people would go and see Crownlands, a very amazing band, by the way. And, you know, and then, you know, as they fall in love with Crownlands, because they will, because they're so amazing. And then they will see that Crownlands, you know, is, is you know, in, you know, pushing the movement and, and that would get the word out faster. So that was kind of like my idea. Like it all, it all feeds in, into itself naturally and it's done in a tasteful way and then make that a video and then post that video and it would just live like that as a standalone video for uh, Canada Day as it were. And then what happened was the Murphy's Law. What you don't think will happen does happen and my microphone, which is, was is broke. My microphone broke. The last time I used my microphone, it was fine. It went into the case. It went into the case and I put it back where it was supposed to belong. And then when I took it out, it, I plugged it in and I started using it. And right from the first moment that I was recording, 
it, it just wasn't working. It was cutting in and out and I, I brought it to a shop and it turns out it's, it, it is broken. I didn't know it was broken at the time, obviously. So the audio that I got from that entire day, which I shot on July 1st, today is July 10th is um for all intent it's it's gone it's it's i tried i tried to salvage what i could the last 10 days and i couldn't i i tried my best i tried to maybe up the audio because it kept cu cutting in and out but in the end it was just you know when i raised the audio it just had so much uh distortion on it and it it just didn't look any good and here i'm, I'm gonna cut to some some footage here um I'm just going to show you a clip of, of one group of people that I found in the park, in, in Trinity Bell, Bellwoods Park. Um, a wonderful group of ladies that was sitting down and they were so articulate. And um, here's a little clip of, of them. This is the raw footage as I took it and you'll see, you'll see how it sounds. And this is basically, um, this is the best that I got through all the footage. Some of the people I've recorded, I didn't even record any audio, so I couldn't even raise, uh, I couldn't even raise it if I wanted to, which even if I did, it would just sound too, too distorted. But anyway, uh, check this out because what I did get, they were very articulate and it was so nice to capture these ladies on camera. We called it earlier, we called because it tone deaf. Two people right over there, that's like a couple that looks very, very happy in their red and white. It's just a little tone deaf just, because just hurting on this day and it's really really insensitive because like even though we've been celebrating this holiday for so many years And of course, uh, there we have it there. Um, those those ladies w were, were so articulate. That conversation that I had there was um, just had so many great talking points and just had great, great insight. And as you could hear there, it was going in and out and um, we no longer have that footage. And uh, it's, it's sad because, you know, my intention was to go out into the street and talk to my fellow Canadians and, you know, bring the voice and the reason of my fellow Canadians to the video. And, uh, and I, I, uh, what it, I didn't know. I didn't know that that was going to happen with the microphone. I, oh, it's, it's, it's so heartbreaking. Um, but, but anyway, mo uh, moving on. Thank you to everyone that was on camera. And uh, for those that I, I gave, I gave concert tickets away to see Crown Lands on December 1st at the Access Club here in Toronto on College Street. For those that I gave tickets to, uh, I hope you enjoy the show. And uh, uh, I know, I'm just so crestfallen. It's crazy. Because I interviewed some very intelligent people that had some really uh, just wonderful things to say. You know, I, I'm going, I, I, to make up for it, I will do it again. Um, but I do have, you know, a schedule and I have things that I need to film. You know, for, you know, for example, my microphone, actually my microphone in the video, if you saw, there was a yellow uh, microphone um, wind screen. Um, I actually have an orange one. I thought I had misplaced, but I did find it. So going forward, you know, there, I'm gonna add elements to my channel in any way that I can that's going to support our indigenous brothers and sisters. And that way, you know, I'm gonna have an orange um, that's gonna be like a staple. Every time I'm, I'm out on the street filming in whatever character, whoever I hire, they're always gonna have an orange windscreen. Um, but of course, this, I mean, there's gonna be other things that I'm gonna do, not just that. I'm just saying like, um, I'm just building on ways that I can, uh, what's the word, include, include and show support for uh, the indigenous community in Canada. Um, there's gonna be many, many more things down the road. This isn't gonna be the only one or the only thing. And uh, that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And one more time, because I'm so crestfallen because I really wanted the video to be good. I'm so sorry that this happened. Um, if you want to know, I, I, I added audio monitoring to my camera and when I do save up and get enough money in the future, I'm going to buy a new camera that already has an audio jack in it. So my cameraman or camera woman uh, can uh, monitor the audio and uh, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and um, hope to see you guys soon.